Hello everybody and welcome back to our tips and tricks series for DOT2. This is Michael Quincy Sturtman and we are in a little series about commands in queues. So in our first video clip we've triggered a queue list from another queue list. So this queue list triggers my home queue and with go I can switch it back off. Where can I use this? You can use this for example in theaters to get a lean clean main queue list. I've done an example here and I show you this is a little queue list, a little bit theater style. So the people walk in, the actor enters the stage, then the music starts. And when the music starts, I want to have my park hands in the back do a little chase. So they turn red and then my chase step starts until the end. I've timed this a little bit and then I have to go on to the last queue getting darker on stage. So instead of using all these chaser steps inside, I could do a leaner cleaner list because I've done the chaser here. It runs as long as I want. And now I trigger from my main queue list this queue list. So my chaser is on executor number two. And I don't need steps four to 11 anymore. So in my main queue list, so I say delete 4 through 11, please. Normal is good enough. This can't be a follow queue now, it must be a go. And when the music starts, I want to trigger executor number 2. And what I type in here now is exec for executor 1.2 at 100%. That pulls this fader up and in the next one I say exec 1.2 at 0 to pull it back down. Let's have a look how this works. I'm in queue number 1, it's bright on stage, people walk in, then the actor comes. And now the music starts, watch this. And when the music starts, my lights turn red and my chaser is pulled up. And whenever they are finished on stage with the music, I can tell them to stop. So the master will be pulled down and I'm here and then I can go on. Fine, this works fine. It looks a little bit rough what I do here. So while putting up the fader like this in zero time, I can also enter a timing in here. Executor 1.2 at 100, time 2, means will be faded in in 2 seconds and in here when I pull it down at 0, I put a time 1 in and it fades out in 1. Let's have a look. Q number 1, Q number 2, act on stage and now the music starts and I want my chaser to be there in two seconds. So you see it fades in. And when I switch it back on, when the musicians are ready with what they do, they fade out in one second. Wonderful. So you see, we fine tuned this a little bit while we edit the time. That's it for today. Stay tuned. We, of course, make a third part and show you what else is possible with commands and cues. This was Michael Quincy Stratman from Tech Support here in Germany at ME Lighting International. Happy programming, guys. Take care. Bye.